Welcome back. Now, the week of September this week, starting today, is annually observed as the International Week for Deaf People. Now, this week aims to promote awareness of the rights and the plights of deaf persons and was first commemorated in September 1951 at the World Congress of the World Federation of the Deaf. Now, this year, Namibia has dedicated this week to pay homage um, to this day and Lina Keller, Paul Nanyeni, who is the National Executive Director of the Namibian National Association of the Deaf, as well as Dr. Joseph Murray, who is the President of the World Federation of the Deaf, now joins me in studio with an update of the events planned for this week, uh, this week-long commemoration. A very good morning, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'll start with you, um, Dr. Murray. Welcome to Namibia. It's a great honor to have you here in our country. Firstly, can you tell us about you know, um, this week and the significance of this week in also help, helping elevate the plights of people, of deaf people in, in the country and also around the world here? The World Federation of the Deaf um, is an international organization with 131 countries that are members, including Namibia, of course. And um, each of the countries have their own sign languages, either one or more sign languages. So we are here to support Namibian sign language. I don't know Namibian sign language. Paul, of course, is an expert in Namibian sign language, so I make use of international sign. So our theme is building inclusive communities for all. So, you know, of course, after COVID, we also have to rebuild yes. the community. And so we want to provide access for all deaf people. Mm -hmm. And we are, you know, looking forward to just answering some simple questions, you know. Fantastic. And one thing is mm -hmm. recognize Namibian sign language. Yep. And I wanted to ask, you know, with the pandemic, what would you say has been its impact on, you know, the deaf community? Has it elevated the plights or has it sort of, you know, worsened um, the plights of, of the deaf community? Um, I think worldwide uh, there is a perspective that as deaf people, yeah. you know, we really struggle to have access to information yes. about the pandemic and the World uh, Federation of the Deaf and our members also lobby and advocate for full access uh, in local sign languages. Yeah. And of course, if all people have access to information that should include deaf people to have access to information. And, you know, uh, any health crisis coming up is, is something that we really need to pay attention to. Yeah. Deaf people need access to the information just as other hearing people have, you Absolutely. know, uh, like television broadcasts need to be accessible in sign language. Yeah. The World Health Organization also recommends that full access be provided in the national language, sign Absolutely. language. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, Lina Keller, of course, uh, you are the National Executive Director for the Namibian National Association um, of the Deaf. Just talk to us about, you know, the strides and successes that Namibia has to record um, today. A great question. Um, I would like to share some strides that we have achieved. So is that we have a t TV, on a television we have interpreters. Yeah. So there's accessible services to the deaf community. So in deaf education, um, we have invocational centers. We have also sign language interpreters. Yeah. And then the Ministry of Disability Affairs um, also, after these discussions mm -hmm. with them, they're also paying interpreters for, but we need to, they are, we're taking slow steps, but there's still a lot of um, advocacy that needs to be happened. Yeah. So like Joe said, that we need to have full access and we will only realize that if the Namibian Sign Language has been officialized as an official language Very for much us indeed. to have access. Very much. And I was going to ask the next question, you know, on Sign Language Day. And I just recall Dr. Murray saying that uh, he doesn't know Namibian Sign Language yet. Um, are you teaching him, Lina Keller? <laughs> Definitely, I'm teaching him. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll give him a few signs. <laughs> yeah, and I really am trying, you know, and there is one thing that I have learned in, um, you know, you know uh, 
Namibian Sign Language and the, the, the UN wants us uh, to lobby all governments to recognize the local or national sign languages. So I'm going to challenge you to also <laughs> sign something. I'm going to learn. Um, so I did learn a few things for our viewers this morning. Dr. Murray was kind enough to teach me um, a thing this morning. So it goes as follows and it basically translates to um, sign language, sign language, language unites us. Is that correct, Dr. Murray? <laughs> correct, <laughs> marvelous. <laughs> Beautiful. So it goes, sign um, language unites us. Such a pleasure to be here. Such a pleasure to be in your company this morning. Um, just talking about, you know, the, the strides that people have made, of course. We've touched on some of the successes that Namibia has to record, but also coming back to the sign language element. Um, perhaps for our viewers this morning who are wondering, why are there different sign languages? Um, per country or per region um, around the globe, yeah. Dr. Murray? Well, really, uh, sign language is, is just like any other language. Mm -hmm. It is created by the people of the country, yeah. and it's a natural language. So Namibian sign language mm -hmm. um, is something that exists in Namibia only, and Namibian people should be very proud of this language. Yeah. This is your own language. You can't bring another sign language from another country into mm -hmm. Namibia. Yeah. And, you know, I think people all over Namibia use this language. And the theme for International uh, Sign Language Day, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, is, is sign language unites us. And yes. please, I want to encourage the whole community that is watching this morning yeah. to please learn sign language. Everybody is responsible to be involved, Absolutely learn the right. language. Absolutely right. Uh, Lina Keller, of course, we've spoken about some of the strides, um, some of the progress we've made, but we know the challenges remain um, for the deaf community. We know what the challenges are, issues of inclusivity, issues of access to information, etc. cetera. Um, talk to us about those challenges and what has been done in the meantime, ma'am. The challenges that we are facing is coming a long way since we have um, been deaf, be, deaf community being here in Namibia. Yeah. So um, Namibian sign language has not been recognized. So that's our human rights okay. that needs to be recognized, that we can have access through uh, Namibian sign language. Yes. So then our rights will be realized. So in the education, the um, education sector is not just non-responsive to our needs. Mm -hmm. So we need to transform the education center, um, that we need to make sure that our learners have access to sign language in schools, right. and that we can, and that learners will be have, having access mm -hmm. in sign language. And then also accessibility to information. Yes. I mean, that's not enough. So we need more, um, we need access to video relay services, mm -hmm. and then also we need maybe, maybe also access to um, information where there's also deaf people that needs to have access to yeah. everyone. Yes. So we need to make sure that there's also hospitals, yeah. clinics. There's, there's no access for us um, to access the health services. So we need to make sure that when a deaf patient is coming in, there's no communication. Yes. So we need to make sure that there is access mm -hmm. in terms of our, that that's a basic human right. Absolutely. So, and then also we need to, during COVID, mm -hmm. that created so many challenges for us. So deaf people stayed at home because of lockdown. Yeah. And then that created so many challenges because there were no access to information. Mm -hmm. And that's a human right to have access and to be able to communicate. Yeah. So we need, all need to work together yeah. and to make that a realization. Absolutely. Uh, and, and you're rightfully so. While the challenges exist, um, especially in the urban setting, um, the plights of those in the rural parts of the country are just as real and just as important. What are we doing to assist the deaf, com the deaf community um, in the rural parts on the outskirts of the country where access to such privileges um, they do not have? that uh, there are huge challenges in the remote areas. So what we are doing is just to 
go and meet up with them so that we can be able that they do have access to services. Mm -hmm. But the biggest problem is because of the remote areas. And that is also um, discriminating against them. So we need to make sure that we can work with government yeah. to try to make sure that their services are accessible, that their needs are met. Mm -hmm. In terms of that there are discussions with them, that we can hear what their needs are as well. Yeah. And then also that we, when we do have information, we try to share it with them Very for much. them to understand as well what all the developments. And one of those ways is through the commemoration of such days, such weeks, etc., where we of course bring the plights to the fore, but also look at the, the challenges and how we can solve those challenges. Talk to us about the series of events and activities um, that you will be having over the course of this week here. Today is the start of the International Week of yeah. Deaf People. So the first, the theme is sign language in education. Mm -hmm. So that because we need our deaf children when they are, when they are born, they need to, they are born into hearing families. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that they have acquisition to language. Mm -hmm. So maybe that we can, maybe they only learn sign language the first time when they go into a school of the deaf. Yeah. So we need to make sure that when, when they are at home, that everyone will be able to sign to that youngster and that they can also have access to one another. Yeah. So that's what very important is that we start at ECD level mm -hmm. to ensure that this language acquisition takes place. Very much. And then that the mother, the parents will be able to communicate with them. But when hearing babies are born, a mom talks constantly with their little baby. Yeah. So mothers also need to sign to their deaf babies Absolutely. as well. So through that, um, we can be able maybe to achieve because the foundation has been laid. Yeah. So we have several themes during this week. And this, we have sustainable employment and economics for deaf people mm -hmm. to see the deaf people in the workplace. Yeah. Because we, don't, we see that so many deaf people are unemployed. So we need to make sure that people with disabilities and the deaf need to set up projects so that we can also create employment opportunities yeah. for the deaf community. So we also need to make sure that we encourage mm -hmm. um, deaf people to go and study and then also because we, we cannot allow the deaf people um, are excluded from interviews. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 so and, allow me, and allow me to interrupt you there. I just want to ask Dr. Murray, you know, when we speak about some of these success stories um, we've seen around the world, um, just as Lina Keller pointed out, the issues of employment, for instance, you know, which is such a basic human right, yet such a struggle in our country, um, where has it worked in which parts of the world um, that perhaps we can learn um, a thing or two from here? Yeah? Uh, just on the point of employment as well as education, one thing that the World Federation of the Deaf um, really uh, advocates for is that deaf uh, children be taken to schools that are close to home yes. and not be taken away. So deaf children must be provided access to their sign language and when you include them from an early age, then you provide them with sign language. So if anybody out there is watching at the moment, contact your school for the deaf in your area, contact the NNAD to get more information if you have a deaf child. Yeah. Families need to learn Namibian sign language. I've seen world over that when families do learn sign language, they support their deaf child. Um, you know, if they, if they don't, then that child loses access to information. Now, in terms of employment, uh, one, and the first step, of course, is to give equal opportunities to education, Absolutely. to tertiary institutions. Mm -hmm. That is one of the most important things. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, every people have, or every person, I'm sure, have problems. And why do we have to include deaf people in employment? 
you know, if they want to compete on an equal level, yes. they need to be given the education. Absolutely. And once given the opportunity, and given the opportunity to communicate in various ways, mm -hmm. they become employable. Very much indeed. Lina Keller, uh, amongst the many activities that you have planned for the week um, is, of course, the National uh, Association of the Deaf. Uh, that's ordinary member. Um, you're, you're an ordinary member, pardon me. But you'll be having, that is, a meeting as well, a board meeting um, happening during the course of this week. Can you please take us through um, this meeting, what is on the agenda, and, of course, the very importance you know, of addressing some of the matters through this meeting. Yeah. And Dr. Murray is here as well in the country. Yeah. The 129th WFD board meeting happened here in Namibia mm -hmm. and so through they do have these board meetings in different countries. So this time around it was Namibia's turn, yep. Namibia's turn to make to have this um, board meeting hosted here. So we need to make sure that many issues can be addressed. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is met with different departments mm -hmm. so that we can see and how we can work together right. to address those challenges. So it's the first time that we have this WFD board meeting here mm -hmm. so that I can, and I went with uh, Mr. Jo Dr. Joseph Murray to different departments to showcase um, international leadership and also to make sure mm -hmm. that we can address those challenges and to create solutions to them. Um, so the board brings a wealth of experience uh, to um, us during this week and that was shared with us and we met with the Minister of Deaf Education yeah. um, and we also showed how can other countries and we, we shown them best practices mm -hmm. as well where there's interpreters, where there are note takers in universities. Yeah. or um, So deaf students can't just look at um, the lecturer all the time and they, they can't be taking notes. So we need to make sure that they are note takers. So we need to change mm -hmm. deaf people's lives to have full inclusion Very and that their rights are realised. Very much indeed. Dr. Murray, I'm sure you have something to add there. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I do. Um, the, the World Federation of, of the Board um, have 11 members and we are from 11 different countries. Okay. Yesterday we had a very good uh, discussion and meeting with uh, the deaf community of Namibia. You know, we listened to what they said and we also shared our experiences with them. We must support one another in the World Federation of the Deaf, we support one another. Yeah. And you know, you should be doing that in Namibia as well. And I think our um, board meeting really addresses a variety of issues. Um, yeah. You know, there are educational matters that we need to discuss, uh, various other things, human yeah. rights issues, etc. And the absolute basics is that we need to recognize your country's sign language, Namibian mm -hmm. sign language, as an official language in Namibia, yeah. because the UN uh, Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities says that yeah. you have to recognize um, your national sign language, which hasn't happened in Namibia. Absolutely. So we need to have it recognized mm -hmm. uh, so that the rights of deaf people can be supported. So you must Very do much. that in this country yeah. to achieve the rights. Very much indeed. We are unfortunately pressed for time. Uh, just Lina Keller, as we conclude the interview this morning, please tell us about you know, the commemoration and how, of course, the public can get involved um, and be part of uh, the observation. Yeah. Today was the launch of International Week of Deaf, Deaf People, and we were launching this at the Safari Hotel. So people at home, um, there are different ways that you can get involved is to learn Namibian Sign Language yes. and tell your friends to say that and tell people in Parliament mm -hmm. to make sure that sign language is an official language. Mm -hmm. Gain that support and come behind us to support us and also in the employment sector employ deaf people yeah. because they can offer um, 
solutions. If it's one deaf people is a deaf person is employed, right. you can just add another one. So that there's communication happening at the workplace as well. So there are different places where you can get involved. You can welcome to contact me and share ideas mm -hmm. and that we can work together. Very Thank much you. indeed. Dr. Murray, uh, I'm sure you enjoyed your time in Namibia. Just your concluding remarks um, this morning before we let you go here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Namibia is indeed a very big country, yeah. um, you know, with two million people. Um, mm -hmm. But every person in society yeah. should become friendly to deaf people and provide access. Yeah. Learn Namibian Sign Language. It really is a great benefit and yeah. it will benefit you too. Sign Language is really indigenous mm -hmm. to Namibia. Learn it. Very much indeed. Thank you so much for being here, both of you. Thank, Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. We wish you all the best uh, with the future and may you, of course, um, uh, have success in, of course, addressing the plights um, of our deaf community. Um, there you have it, Namibia. That was uh, Lina Keller, Paul Nanyeni. He is the National Executive Director of the Namibia National Association of the Deaf, alongside Dr. Joseph Murray, who is the President of the World Federation of the Deaf, talking to us this morning about this week, which of course will observe, that is the International Week for Deaf People. They have a number of activities lined up. They're talking about the plights of the deaf community, how they can address um, the, deaf, the, the plights of the deaf community. But also Im important to note is that, of course, there has been a lot of strides um, made to that effect as well. Now, also the 23rd of this month, this Friday, they will be observing, that is, the Sign Language Day. And after all, sign um, language unites us.